Hi. Day two. Out here in a little area I found uh, yesterday. Made a little video. Uh, just as hot as it was yesterday. I think it's something like a uh, 97 today. Yeah, burning up. But uh, got a little, uh, got a little fine little target right here. Fixing to dig up. I started digging it and uh, I quit. I went ahead and got the camera made an introduction. But uh, let's see what we got right here. I'm pretty sure it's a bullet. All right, we're gonna do a little record right here. I got uh, I just found three uh, three round balls right here, and uh, we're gonna. I got a few more signals. I'll see if I can dig these up on camera. There's another one. The other one. Another one. <laughs> Confederate. Another one. Surface fine. All right, y'all. I'm bring the camera a little bit further down here because I found uh, found that surface find still laying down here. 
look down the hill, I think I seen two of them. Right here's one of them. Right there. Then uh, I look down the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. One right there. Another one. No buck and buck. Another one. All right, we're gonna turn the camera off, save a little film, a little battery power. Keep on looking. All right, had to sit down for a little while. Dug about at least 10 round balls right there. Started to get a little tired and hot. I've been in the sun all day since six o'clock this morning. Uh, I build houses. I'm out in the sun all day long. Construction work. But, uh, you just give you a little idea where I just dug all them round balls. Probably it was, had a Confederate campsite at the top of that hill at one time. And when they started working these fields after the Civil War, probably pushed the topsail and briars and stuff over, the, over this edge of this cliff right here. But uh, this dozer come through here and turned it all up for me. But uh, you'll be surprised what you walk on top of sometimes. You know, the majority of this area all the time, I mean all the way around me, has uh, been cleaned out, picked over. But they start to turn this dirt over. Gives me opportunity years later to get mine. Alright, we'll see what we can find. I think we're going to, it's kind of early, we've only been hunting for a little over an hour. But uh, we're going to try to make our way out of here towards the truck, getting low on water, and it's still hot. Thank you. Thank you for watching.
All right. Made another little couple hour hunt after we got off work. We didn't go to too late today. Very hot today. But uh, haven't even counted them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen round balls. All found in the same spot. Quite a few little bucket balls along with them. I'd say Confederate. Um, it just got too hot. I had to come on out of there. Had a cold Powerade in the truck waiting on me. Couldn't resist. But uh, we're definitely going to be going back there uh, quite a few more times. You know, can't wait to winter. I'm going to live in them woods. But uh, anyway, maybe next time we'll find some brass. I'm surprised I didn't find any camp lead or brass today. Uh, but we didn't travel a whole, whole lot. But uh, this is pretty much all I found in one little spot though. Uh, this uh, infield looks like it's never been fired either. Pretty good size. I'd say that's a like, 69 caliber. It's pretty heavy. Found a three ringer. And uh. Yeah, like I said, I'm surprised I didn't find any brass. Um, we searched a small area, very small area. Still lots to hunt, but um, we'll see what we can do next time for y'all. Uh, try to make some afternoon hunts, maybe towards the evening when the sun's going down. Maybe we can last a little longer. So, I think it's 5.15 now. And probably close to 99 degrees but uh we'll be talking to y'all later thank y'all for watching